Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Panthers and the Barons on Sunday night primetime. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight we kick off the preseason with a good matchup right away between the Carolina Panthers and the Berlin Barons. Charles Davis alongside me, and I'm Brandon Gordon. And, folks, the wait is over. Yes, it's just the preseason, but football is back in your living room. And I'm excited. I know you are as well. The summer heat feels good on these old bones, especially because we're not putting on pads. We don't have to be out there in that heat running into other people. But I'm glad these guys are. Football is back. about ready to get us started and we are underway in the final game of a busy Sunday no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25 so out comes this offense to take over for the first time they're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson and we all know the scouting report on him he can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule we also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete, and wants to be great every time he hits the field. Now Carter to start the drive, and he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Wilson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick. Has to do the same thing. Bridgewater and the Panthers going to come up here first and 10 right at the 50 yard line. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Off the play fake. Bridgewater. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. On third down, Bridgewater. And that's knocked away and incomplete. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed him up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try and put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? 
And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And if you're wondering how quick a quarterback's decision-making needs to be, a next-gen stat says that play took all of 2.8 seconds from beginning to end. Here's Logan Cook now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. A 40-yard punt, no return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Dancing to his left. And his throw is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Bridgewater now from the 50. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And partner, I know so far, I and mean, we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right? When these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Wilson. Flush to his right. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. That'll give him eight that time. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20 yard line. A 41 yard punt there with no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. From the gun, Bridgewater out left and completes to Thornton. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. On second down, they'll run it here. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Bridgewater. He's got his tight end. It's Tommy Tremble. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A big play that time on the catch and run. 33 yards. On third down, it's very simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned it into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. D.J. Reed, who played in college at Kansas State, made the tackle. A 
Here's a handoff out of the gun. And not much running room. Down to the 32. And a heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. On second and nine, Bridgewater. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. The former third overall pick, Quentin Williams there to bring him down. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. This one from 48 yards away. The kick by McManus is good. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. To throw is Wilson. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Holding offense. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. A give up the middle to Carter. Four yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. Here's Wilson. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and 13. Third and long. It's Wilson. Uncorks one for Davis. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Defense. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Yitor Gross Matos able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. On right, second down, a run with Carter. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Throw right side complete to Carter. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, 
plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Bridgewater to throw it. Got his man. It's Thornton. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Here's Bridgewater. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a long night. On second down, they'll run it here. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly what the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Throwing Bridgewater over the middle, completes this to Ward. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second down at four. Panther football to start quarter number two. As they've got it with a second and four coming up. Now a handoff looking right. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Escape. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much. And he's sacked for a loss of 12. A rough play there for the first year quarterback. And that's a skill he'll pick up as he gains more experience in the NFL. Recognizing situations where he might have to take the sack and finding a way to minimize the loss yardage in those situations. But for now, a big loss is the result of this one. There's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Carolina. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They go play action here on first down. Uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Carmichael. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. On first down. Haynes, and he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. On second down, it's Haynes, and able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. On third down, it's Haynes, and he won't get close. 
only a yard, fourth and three. And the midfield stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Logan Cook now to punt this one away. This is away, but boy, headed straight to the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And a throw right sideline is complete. Finding room at midfield. And he will step out of bounds, but not before he's all the way across the 50. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on a catch and run. There's certainly a lot of quality receivers on this team, so he's no lock to make this squad. But the way he's got to do it, make every routine catch that comes his way, and mix in some of the big-time ones like the one we just saw there. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Spencer, wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. That was a nicely run slam route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On first down, Spencer. Touchdown, Panthers. A great play there. 31 yards. And they are able to add as a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So that drive spanned five plays, and Carolina scores to cap it off. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. On second down now, it's Haynes, able to slither by, and he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That good for 19 and a first down. That toss play right, we know it's one of the successful plays they have in their arsenal, and they showed you why there. And remember, in order for it to be successful, because it's a little bit of a slower developing play, those blocks at the line of scrimmage have to be kept have to be held so that the runner can get to the corner and turn it upfield. They'll run on first down. Haynes, and he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. The last run got six, now second and four. A six-yard pickup. 
Brings up second and four. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. The offense on third down tonight, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. Here it's third and two. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. It sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. Yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Well, Brandon, we could see that play develop. I mean, they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And a fair catch call for and made just inside the 35-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Back to throw. Carmichael gets this one to Morris. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw. Carmichael. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. Intercepted by the Panthers. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Operating from the gun, Spencer. And this one incomplete. Oh, I couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. To throw on third down, Spencer. 
And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. And he'll go in the books as a sack and a loss of a yard. But more importantly, it leads to fourth down. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. Taken in at the three. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. To throw on second down. Carmichael. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amani Oruorier. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Well, CD, I think they were in nickel that time, which we see so often in today's NFL. And there it helped them net their first pick six of the contest. Nice eyes. Good observation there, partner. You nailed it. This is a defense that likes to mix up and disguise coverages but it did end up being one of their main packages, the nickel, that fooled them that time. And they made the most of the miscue for the nice return. McManus's point after is good, and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So we'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Looking to throw on second down. Carmichael. And this one is incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third down and 12. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he'll be taken down here just shy That's of the 30. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Haynes, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second down. It's Haynes. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. 
Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Out of the gun now on third down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Panthers are going to get the football here at their own 23. I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw in this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. Throwing on first down. Spencer. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on the punt for Carolina. This offense back to work now late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And the Panthers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Well, Charles are so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Throwing to start the drive. Spencer. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Throwing again on second and 10. Spencer. All right, rifles one. It's going to be intercepted. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. First week of the preseason, probably not the pass, the impression that the rookie <laughs> wants to leave right there. Yeah, no probably about it because that's not what you want to do to try and press your new coaching staff, try to impress your locker room, and most importantly, yourself. Probably spent all night last night saying, 
Don't throw an interception early. Make sure you take care of the football. But now he's got it out of the way. Hopefully he can just settle in and move on. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Back to throw. Carmichael. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Brings up third and five. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And that is no good. And that will keep the deficit at 20. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. So just two more weeks of preseason action follow this, and then we get it all started on the first Thursday after Labor Day. Meanwhile, for our home team, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they will need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Panthers ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, They'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards, the pick up, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now a play fake here on first down. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feed down complete. Just a gain of a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. Complete. Smith has it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Spencer. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. But pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. 
The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. On second down now, it's Haynes. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. A gain of a yard. Looking to throw. Carmichael. He's got a man that's caught. Left sideline. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. One heck of a third down conversion. 33 yards. That's just flat out a beautiful throw right there. It was a rope. That's maybe the speed you would see on a slant, but he threw that downfield with that kind of pace. Now, if he throws that one with any type of arc, puts a little air under it, that play doesn't happen. He had to fire it in there, and he did exactly that. On first down, Haynes. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. Taken down at the 19-yard line. Four yards to throw on second down Carmichael he finds his man complete it's Morris they missed a field goal on their last drive here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down firing quickly here and that's complete and he'll be taken down but he does have first down yardage they give him seven yards on the play and they do pick up the conversion on third down Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Touchdown! From six yards away. And the Barons get a bit closer. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Matt Gay on for the extra point. That is good, and that'll make it 20 to 7. So this drive spans seven plays. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Spencer. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package.
yardage. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Here's Sam Martin now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. 35 yards that time on the punt. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50. First and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Off the play fake, Carmichael. He finds his man complete. It's Morris. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They'll get 34 yards there. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Up the middle they go. It's Haynes, able to fight for about 40 yards there to the 13. He was brought down at the 13 yard line. A game of four. Looking to throw on second down. Carmichael. This will be caught at about the five. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. turn to the power game to try to get in and trying to push forward but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield a loss of two there second down well we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half and that trend is continuing here back at the five yard line now second and goal back to throw Carmichael and this will be incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice game downfield. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Panthers are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard. But also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence actually pulling him out of the game so you have to know your player you have to know the situation they'll start this drive out on the ground and he edges forward but only gets a pair of yards out of it and it's second down to throw on second down spencer oh and this is gonna wind up a safety At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game, and that rush earns a crowning achievement there. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. On the return, Harris. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. A beautiful fake. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 79 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, 
You got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. On first and ten, Carmichael throwing middle, and it's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Off play action, Carmichael. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 31-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Second and short, that's a run down, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Haynes, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. On second down, it's Haynes. About three yards there to the 27. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Carmichael. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. And that'll bring up fourth down on a big sack with a loss of five. I know nowadays they give a lot of guys different things when they get to the sidelines after creating a big play, but just throw a cape on this guy because he single-handedly ended multiple drives. Interception earlier, sack on third down. Really should have a better game plan installed for how to contain him because he's affecting this game in so many ways. Gay's kick is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So if you factor the safety, this is going to be a five-point swing all told. And if you're winning, I think you say, five by me, we'll take it. But when you're losing, I think you have to say, we let a good opportunity get away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Well, they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. On second down, they'll run it here. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Room here to run. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Uh, we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Looking to throw. Spencer. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbound. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching preseason football on EA Sports. Back now just in Manhattan in Brooklyn. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. And he's going to go down. He sacked back in the 24. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needed and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
He finds his man complete. It's Porter. And he'll only get this to the 17. Well shy of what he needed. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll bring up fourth down. First down would have been nice, but now you get to kick the field goal, still go up two scores. They tried to get it, though, didn't they? Through the pass, got the completion just short of the first down. But you're exactly right. Run the field goal unit out there. Kick it. Put it through the post. Go up two scores. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes of both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. But now this offense comes back out onto the field, and the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Back to throw. Carmichael, he finds his man complete. It's Haynes. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. On third down, Carmichael. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with the field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. They'll look to throw here on first down. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. The throw over the middle taken in, and they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down. Haynes, and he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. The fourth down was successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Up the middle they go. It's Haynes, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Looking to throw on second down. Carmichael, he finds his man complete. That's Haynes. On third and two, Carmichael. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Yeah, a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 
Now a handoff up the middle. It's Malone. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. To throw on second down, Carmichael. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Looking to throw, Carmichael. And he's unable to haul it in, so it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field, and that brings up fourth. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And Gay knocks this one through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. And there's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Carolina offense about ready to go. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game, and on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the pulse right now? It might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball, but here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. And they've got to get back to that, and that means opening things up again, being a little more free than what they're trying to get done on offense. Third and four. This crowd urging on their defense. They're up and making noise. Back to throw. Spencer. Over the middle complete. That's Porter. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or a takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 74 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the side. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. The part of this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match their opposition's pick six from earlier in this game. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Possession of the football goes over to Carolina. They will look to flush the memory of that pick six as we now have a brand new tie ball game here in the fourth quarter. Getting down to the good stuff. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. 
Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Looking to throw. Spencer. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And third and eight now. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. To throw on third down, Spencer. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on North Carolina. It's taken to the 26. 43 yards on the punt, 7-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. On first down, Carmichael. And that one going to come up short, low throw. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Up the middle they go. Haynes. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. On third down, Carmichael. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And some room to work. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 94 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? He brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Throwing on first down. Spencer. He finds his man complete. It's Porter. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late Special penalty foul. flag in the backfield. And this looks like a roughing call. So the call there, roughing the passer. Well, preseason's time for working out the kinks, but sometimes you've got some defenders who are too eager to impress trying to make this team. And that time we saw one take a shot at the quarterback way too late. 
And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw. Spencer. And he's got it. And he's brought down. Same exact result as last play. A pickup of 11. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape. The first goal. A field goal could get him the lead. It might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Looking to throw. Spencer. And he's got it. Touchdown. Panthers have in this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Obviously a huge touchdown for their team, but a big touchdown for a rookie quarterback here to be able to break the tie in the fourth quarter. And he just shook off all the pressure, too, because when you think about it, tie ball game, rookie quarterback, most of them are thinking, don't make a mistake. Instead, this young man just said, I'll make a play. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down on the scoreboard, just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. On first and ten, Carmichael. Got a make. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. And remember, no overtime here in preseason. This offense hoping that's a moot issue as they try to finish this one off. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Now the defense earned their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. in the backfield he'll get the carry and he's going to take this down to about the 17. 112 yards rushing for him now at this point. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say guess what you drop this one you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or carrying it around campus right? Maybe old color drill right? Anyone get the ball by sitting in class and bring it back to the coach. He's in big trouble. And the kick is good. See you later. Now this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And they were really held by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, taking the ball away, taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory.